everyone happy monday it's about 3 45 or so i am home from work um i didn't get a chance to check in this morning because i was running super late <laughs> um and we were very extremely busy so i got absolutely no reading done um don't know what my plan is for tonight i don't know i don't know what's what i'm feeling um i want to read melmoth but i also want to pick up again but better to get that out of the way um, so I don't really know what I'm going to do as far as reading, um, but, um, I am getting ready to meet my boyfriend over at the mall. We've got to pick up some things, um, but I just wanted to pop in and say hello, happy Monday, and I will see you guys a little later. Bye. So I'm sitting at the bus stop, um, and I couldn't really decide what I wanted to read, so I decided I was going to pick up The Cool Prince, um, and pick this back up and try to see if I could get back into it, um, because I've made it like halfway through last month and then put it down because I wasn't loving it. Um, I'm not sure what I really wanted to read for the readathon, so I just decided to go out and print up. I am um, at chapter 16, 152 page, uh, um, page 152, so we'll see how much reading I'm able to do tonight um, while I'm just waiting here at the bus. But um, I don't really know what the week is going to look like as far as reading and uh, pages of on. Um, I really need to do just some like really dedicated uh, reading time and we'll kind of see how the week goes. I will try to see you guys a little bit tonight. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Um, I don't know what day of pages of it is anymore, but it's about 5.30. I've been ready to go to work, but I just want to pop in and say hello. Um, I ended up reading like 20 pages or so of The Cool Prince, and I'm going to take that to work with me today. Don't know how much reading I'm going to get done. It's probably going to be another busy day, but I just wanted to pop in and say hello, good morning, happy Tuesday, and I will see you guys a little later. Bye. Hey guys, it's about 3.20 or so. I am home from work. I just finished filming my June TBR. Um, I ended up reading a couple pages in Cool Prints, like five or so pages on my lunch. Um, we were pretty busy today as well, so not a lot of reading got done. Um, but I'm actually really intrigued to see where their story's gonna go. I'm glad I kind of took a break from it um, because I am actually kind of really excited to see what happens. Um, so I think I'm going to try to really make some dedicated reading time tonight and like set aside at least, at least an hour to try to read because I don't really have any plans tonight and uh, my boyfriend isn't off until like 5.30 and I have the house to myself with just me and the puppies. So I'll probably try to like really get some reading done. I do need to still do some editing. I don't really have much plans. Um, but I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I am going to go ahead and try to pick up some more of the cool prints. I'll check with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey guys, um, so it hasn't really been that long since <laughs> technically I filmed my last clip, but I just got in YouTube to kind of check um, some comments and things, and I just found out, you guys, I've hit a hundred, I've hit a hundred subscribers. This is like huge, um, which for some people might not seem like a lot, like it's just a hundred, but for me, my booktube channel has been a really rocky couple of years. I took a break from booktube, um, and I've had a lot of just a lot of family stuff going on and so to be back and to know that my channel has grown that much in the year um it just feels amazing and it's not about the subscriber count like at all it's just about the fact that there are people out there who care about my voice in the community and who enjoy watching me enough to subscribe and i just want this is a huge like thing for me because i feel like it's my friends and i don't have a lot of friends who read and so I feel like I have um, a community behind me and I have friends who I can turn to and talk about books. And so I just want to say thank you guys for um, just all of the love and support and um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, and I really appreciate all of the love and support and um, all of you guys watching and subscribing to me. So thank you guys so much and um, I will see you guys a little later. Bye. Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. It's about 5.15. Um, I am just getting ready to go to work. I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I read um, about 15 pages of The Cool Prince last night before I um, passed out. I passed out pretty early, but I feel good to get like a full night's sleep. I will pop in a little more probably when I get home. 
I do need to upload my May wrap up um, and then I need to edit and upload my June TBR. But other than those two things, I'm not going to do anything tonight, I don't think. Um, so I'll probably just try to get some reading done. I might try to read a graphic novel and I will see you guys all later. Bye. Hey everyone, um, it is about 7.30 on Wednesday. Um, I just got out of the shower and I realized that I haven't popped in at all today. Um, I ended up coming home and reading um, like 40 pages of The Cruel Prince, which I was really pleasantly surprised that I've actually started to enjoy it. Um, and then I passed out and took a little nap. Um, I actually forgot I don't work tomorrow. Um, I'm off. Yay! So I plan on doing a lot of reading tomorrow and getting caught up on some chores around the house. But I um, really quickly wanted to pop in. I'm actually going to go ahead and probably read another chapter of The Cruel Prince. Um, glad that I'm starting to pick up a little bit and I'm starting to enjoy it. Bye. And I will check in with you guys a little later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It's about 7 o'clock. Um, I am just um, getting up to start the day. I am very excited that I am off today. Um, I've got to get caught up on some things and I'm going to try to finish. I have like 120 pages up to the cool prints, which I really, really think I could get done today if I just like power through it. Um, but I'm really, really excited for the day. I'm just going to kind of hang out. Um, get some tours done and then spend a lot of day reading. I do have to um, finish editing and uploading my June TBR, um, but I'm really excited for the day and I just wanted to pop in and say hello. I don't know what my plan is after I finish school puts, but let's tackle that when I finish it and I will check with you later. Bye. Hi, hey, buddy. Hi. guys, um, it's about 12.30, so it's been a while since you've seen me, um, yes, I have not gotten dressed because it's my day off and I'm not going anywhere, so I wanted to be lazy, um, I have been kind of busy, kind of not, um, I did this morning read a quick like 25 pages or so um, and then I got a little laundry done, did the dishes, finished editing and uploading my June TBR um, and now slowly getting back into, I'm going to try to read another like 25 pages or so before I make lunch and then I might watch an episode of something while I eat. I do have a phone interview at 2.15 but other than that I'm just going to try to power through the last, like, a little less than 100 pages of The Cool Prince. I'm glad I took a break from it and finally decided to pick it back up because I'm actually flying through this a lot quicker than I did when I first picked it up. Um, it's taken a turn um, and has kind of, uh, the um, shit has hit the fan, we'll say, and I mean, obviously everyone has read this, so you know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, I don't want to spoil anything, but it, things have gotten kind of crazy, um, and I'm actually really enjoying it now. I'm really, really pumped to see where the story goes, and um, so I will check in with you guys probably, hopefully, you'll see me when I've finished it, but we shall see how um, quickly I get through another 25, 50 pages or so, um, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey, Ronnie. Mm hmm. Lazy like mommy today? Hmm? A lazy day with mommy today? Hey guys, so it's like 4.30 or so. Um, I am finally getting back into reading The Cruel Prince. I'm actually going to um, chill on the couch for a little bit. Uh, change up the seating arrangements and the reading location. Um, my phone interview went alright. Um, I'm not super confident in it. But um, I'm just going to sit here on the couch and um, try to read a little bit more in The Cool Prince and get it done. Come on, friend. Come on. You can get up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
So, um, that's my plan for the next, like, hour is just hang out on the couch and read. My boyfriend is at work until 5.30, um, and then he'll be home and we'll do dinner, but it gives me an hour to go ahead and try to power through the rest of this, but I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, um, it's about 5.30. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that I did it. I finally finished The Cool Prince by Holly Black. Um, I'm giving it three and a half stars because while, yes, I did love the second half, the first half was just too much of a drag for me. I did love it, didn't hate it. Um, I'm going to give it a three and a half stars, but my boyfriend is home from work, so we are going to go grab some dinner, and then I will check in with you guys uh, with my next read. Oh, it's like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, we're home from the dinner. We met and had Magolian, which was always a favorite. I honestly don't think I'm going to read anything tonight. I think I'm just going to take a break. Um, because I read quite a lot today, and I'm pretty tired, so I'll probably just watch a couple episodes. I think we're going to watch a couple episodes of Key and Peele, and then I'll probably just go to bed. And then I'll show you guys in the morning when I'm going to go ahead and read. But I, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is 6.30. Happy Friday. Um, I'm just getting ready to leave for work. I don't start till 7 on Fridays. So I'm just popping in to figure out what I'm going to read today. I think I'm going to bring a graphic novel because Fridays tend to be a little less busy. So I might be able to get something read. And I don't want to start a new book right now. Um, I think, I think it be, um, outlander graphic novel, because it's mostly, like, book. I think it'll be a really fast-paced read, um, and I already know the story of Outlander, so I think I'm going to bring this today to go ahead and read while I'm at work. I'm going to bring this, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all of it, but I'm hoping to at least get a little bit of it read. Um, but happy Friday. I hope you guys have a great day and you guys will see me after work. Bye. Hey everyone. Um, it's like four o'clock. Um, I just got home from work and I wanted to pop in and, um, see how everyone's Friday is going. I didn't get any reading done today. We were pretty busy, which I was hoping we weren't going to be as busy as we were so I could get a little bit of reading in, but with it being busy season, I'm not surprised. Um, so yeah, I didn't get any reading done. I haven't read anything um, at all today. So I'll probably try to write. Uh, I'll probably try to read the Elise Exile tonight. Um, I am meeting my boyfriend over at the mall, so I'll probably bring that along with me on the bus and meet him over there. Um, it is also I just found out Happy National Donut Day, so that's exciting. I'll probably. Stop in to Krispy Kremes because they're giving away free donuts. So gotta make sure I get a donut and um, that's always exciting. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty busy. It's very hot already here today. Um, it was already like 70 degrees at like 6.30 in the morning. Um, you have to work tomorrow. Um, I'm working 9 to 5.30, which is pretty late for me. I, the latest I generally work is a 7 to 3.30, so that'll be interesting. I'll get to sleep in a little bit. Um, maybe I'll get some reading done in the morning, not sure yet, but um, I will check with you guys a little bit later when some reading happens or something exciting happens. Um, but I'm going to just go have a snack and take a little quick power nap before I have to hop on the bus to go meet my boyfriend at the mall. I hope everyone is having a great day, and I will check with you later. Bye. Hey everyone, um, it's like 10, 15 or so. I am getting ready to head to bed, but I just really quickly want to pop in and let you know, and let you know that I've read probably about halfway, um, I've read about half of The Exile by Dan Gumbledon. Um, just on the bus today, and then I just read a couple chapters tonight. I am currently up to chapter four. Um, I don't know what pages because I don't have these are numbered, um, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I will talk about more more of my thoughts when I can kind of compose them tomorrow when I am awake. 
Um, I might wake up a little bit early and see if I can read this since I don't have to be at work until 9 tomorrow. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Um, so it's like 12.24. Um, I am sitting here at work. It's been nice because it's been, uh, not like super slow, but not busy. So I was able to finish, um, the last... I don't even know how many pages I've read, but I finished The Exile by Diana Gabaldon, which is the um, Outlander graphic novel. I am kind of disappointed. I was hoping that I was going to love this because I love the Outlander series. Um, however, this was just kind of okay. Um, there's a lot of details missing from this, and this is actually only like the first, this is actually only of like third of Outlander, so it's not even the entirety of Outlander. Um, I am glad I didn't spend money on this. I glad I got this from the library because I honestly don't know if I'd want to keep it. Um, I think I'm giving it three stars because um, it's definitely the Outlander story. So I love Outlander. I'm a little bit biased because I do love Outlander so much. But the story itself was just kind of alright. So I'm going to give this three stars. Um, I'm getting ready to head to lunch. But I will check in with you guys a little bit later when I get some reading of Melmoth done. I'm hoping that I can get a good chunk of it because it's been um, nice today. So it's been kind of slow. But um, I'm hoping that I can get some reading done um, after lunch. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey everyone, so it's like 6.30. Uh, I've been home for a little bit. Um, I let the dog puppies out and I ordered food, which is should be here very soon. Uh, I just wanted to pop in and let Grace know I read about 20, 25 pages or so in Melmoth today, which is actually more than I was expecting to get planned, um, more than actually I was anticipating getting read. Um, I don't know what I think about it. It's interesting it's very descriptive and very detailed i don't know if i like it yet i think it's still too early to tell um i'm gonna definitely try to finish it i don't think i'm gonna finish it by the end of this readathon i think i'm liking it i don't know it's still too early to tell it's very interesting um but the it's very descriptive very detailed which i like um but i just don't know about the plot yet um but i just really quickly wanted to pop in and let you guys um know kind of an update of how uh mel how the kind of the rest of the work day went i'm glad it was slow um because it was a crazy busy week so it was kind of nice to to have a day that wasn't super busy um didn't really have a lot of escalations or anything which is always a nice couple but nothing too crazy um but yeah i'm home I've got the house to myself until about 8 o'clock, so I'm going to, once my food gets here, I think I'm going to watch an episode of Supernatural or Buffy, one of the two. Um, probably Supernatural because I'm trying to get caught up. I do need to do some editing on my vlogs, um, and then probably just read a little bit tonight, but I will see you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is the last day of Pages of Fun. Um, I am, um, I am just getting up for the day, um, it's about 8.30, I was up a little earlier, let that one out, and fed them, um, and then kind of just hung out in bed for a little bit, watched some booktube videos, but I am up, um, I think I'm gonna go do some editing, um, of, like, week one vlog, it's, um, Sundays is generally the one day I don't get very much reading done, if I do get any reading done, it's not going to be very much. It might be a little bit, um, which I'll probably pick up Melmoth. Uh, this read plan is kind of all over the place. I feel like I started out really strong. I had like a set TBR. I was like ready to go. And then everything kind of just like went completely crazy with a TBR. And, um, and I got a lot read. I don't know my page count. I'll do like a full wrap up, but... I kind of like just was like meh, I'm, not, I'm just going to read these and they don't fit into the challenges but whatever. What are you eating? What are you eating? Um, I don't know because technically I've got two graphic novels read, half of a book, a whole book, and then I'm in the middle of two books. So I don't know. Um, I feel like they 
hit all the challenges except a 2019 release, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see when I do like my full official wrap up. But um, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are all well. And I will see you guys a little later. Bye. Hey everyone, it is um, Sunday night. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, you haven't seen me all day because I actually um, have been super busy finishing Mama by Sarah Perry. I am actually really surprised that I finished this. Um, I read like almost 200 pages today. Um, I, I feel super accomplished. This was like my main goal that I wanted to read during the readathon and I finally finished it. I actually finished it. Um, I ended up not going to the movies because I just wasn't feeling up for it and I really, really wanted to try to get at least like a good portion of this read. I wasn't planning on finishing it. Um, we did go out today and I went to a job to breakfast to IHOP. Um, and then my boyfriend did have to get a haircut, so I was like powering through like 20 pages while he was reading, getting his hair cut. And then we went to the grocery store and picked up some groceries. And then we stopped at our um, comic book store because we had ordered the second volume in the Green Lantern Reaper series, which was ready. So we had to pick that up. But other than that, I'm just powering through this, you guys. And I'm really, really happy that I finished it. Um, I'm giving it like three and a half stars, 3.75, um, because it did take a little bit of time to get going, but once I made it to like 100 pages, I just like flew through it, and I'm so happy that I finished it. Um, I'll probably check in tomorrow, kind of an update on everything I read and all my pages and all the challenges, but I am really, really excited and really, really happy that I finally finished this, um, and I'm actually going to go finish editing my week one vlog to get up for you guys, and this is probably my last update before um, tomorrow when I kind of wrap everything up, but Pages of Thon was a success. I am so happy that this readathon has got me out of my slump. I am super excited to read the rest of the month, and then there is a really, really exciting readathon happening in July, which I cannot wait to show you guys in my TBR. Um, and I'm really, really excited for that one. That's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm so excited. Um, but I hope everyone had a great week. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey everyone, so I am home from work. It is Monday, so Pages of Thon is officially over. I wanted to pop in with kind of a wrap up of everything that I read. I've got a nice stack here of everything that I read in the two week readathon. Um, there is a couple things in here that I actually not count towards the challenges, um, so I, but I'm including it for the page count. Um, so we'll kind of just really quickly go through what the challenges were and what I read for each challenge, and then I'll talk about um, how many pages I read at the end. So the first challenge was to read a sequel, so I could really count two um, for this. I read. Paper Girls Volume 4 and Spider Gwen Volume 3, both of which are sequels, both of them are graphic novels, so this could really count towards each or challenge. Um, I really, really loved this, gave it four stars, thought this was okay, gave it three stars, but technically for the challenge of read a sequel, I have two completed. And then the second challenge was to read a 2019 release. I actually am really excited because I forgot that I actually read In an Absent Dream by Swan and McGuire. I listened to this as an audiobook over like a day, maybe a day and a half, um, just doing like some chores around the house and doing my bullet journal for the month. Absolutely loved this, gave it four and a half stars. I think it's my favorite in the series, um, but I technically did complete a the challenge of 2019 release. I believe it came out right in January, so um, this technically counts. And challenge three was to read a one word, like book with one word title. I ended up completing all of Melmoth by, by Sarah Perry. This, I was not actually planning on, I didn't think I was gonna finish it, I ended up powering through the last like 150 pages or so, well, no, like almost 200 pages um, yesterday, just powering through it and really got like some focus and got it done. I enjoyed this, I didn't love it. Um, 
it just took a little bit of time to get going once I got through like the first hundred pages so I like flew through it so I'm overall giving this three and a half stars um, but this did complete challenge three of read a one word title and then a uh, challenge four was to read a graphic novel I technically could count these but I'm not going to because I actually read the exile by Diana Gavaldon which is the first is a third of the original Outlander stories told from um, Jamie's point of view I wish I liked this more because I love Outlander um and this was just okay I gave him this three stars because it was just okay but it is technically a graphic novel so I am counting this towards the challenge of read a graphic novel and then challenge five was to read a book that you wouldn't normally read uh, for that I picked up Summer Love by Jill Santapolo this is a follow your heart book which is also known as a choose your own adventure where um it has different scenarios and then it'd be like turn to page 15 if you decide to be gorgeous by the pool turn to 21 if you decide to be gorgeous at the beach and then you know depending on what you choose you go through that page and there are different scenarios and different endings um this was kind of just okay i actually really didn't even like this i gave it like two stars um because it just there was not just, there wasn't a lot of substance to it and I get like you're supposed to be able to choose the endings that you want but I just feel like overall they were just too short and a lot of them were very similar um and I don't know I just wasn't a fan of this there is probably definitely an audience for it it's not me I was hoping I was gonna like this at least you know a little bit because it's kind of contemporary and summer and you know kind of feel like you get to be a part of the ending but I just really didn't like this and I gave it two stars. I also technically do have two other things which I read during the two week period. I ended up reading 124 pages of Good Omens during the readathon. I did start this earlier but during the two week time of the readathon this was consumed so I'm counting it towards pages. Doesn't fit into any of the challenges but I ended up reading 124 pages in Good Omens, finished this, love it, gave it four stars. So excited to start the series tonight, um, but did read this during the readathon, so I'm counting it towards pages. And then I'm also counting The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Technically, I guess you could say this was a, wasn't a book I would normally pick up. But that's not even true because it was on my TBR. Um, I think I read, what, like 150 pages in this. I ended up liking this not as much. So when I first started this, I didn't. I wasn't really liking it as much as I was anticipating and then um, halfway through it was picking up and I was enjoying it more than originally uh, but overall I still feel like it wasn't as great as it could have been for me it's so hyped so I was expecting to love it um, but I didn't so I ended up giving it like three and a half stars I do want to continue the series I think that the first half is a lot of build up for the second half as well as into the second book which I don't have a problem with as long as you know things are happening um but not a lot happens so it kind of took a little bit of time to get going and for me i kind of like to be like a lot of world building around me happening but kind of just get like thrown in the story sometimes and for me this was just okay so i did read like 200 pages in this i'm um, during the two week readathon and um rated it like three and a half stars what well, the wrap up is i read i completed all five challenges i read a total of six things that we're counting and so I for the total of two weeks I read 1425 pages which I am actually super proud of because I haven't been reading a lot lately um, just because with my work schedule now and I'm not really reading a lot unless it's like at home um, and I'm just like exhausted during the week but um, reading 14 basically 1400 pages in two weeks is crazy for me right now so I'm really really excited that this readathon helped me get out of my reading slump. I'm super excited to be back in reading. Um, I've got really exciting plans for July that I'm so excited for. Um, I'm participating in a, this like huge readathon for the whole month and I'm so excited to talk about it in my July TBR but I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and following along and if you've liked my content and you're here for the first time please hit subscribe and like this video. Um, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to talk about let's chat it up in the comments thank you guys so much for watching I hope you are well happy reading and I will see you guys in my next video bye